Back in the World Wide Arena, this is the World Wide Main Event. And coming to the ring, beautiful Bobby Eaton. And what a storied career this man has had. Many, many time World Tag Team Champion. And also a member of many of the recognized greatest tag teams this sport has ever recognized, particularly the Midnight Express, whether with Loverboy Dennis Country or Sweet Stan Lane. They rule tag team wrestling for about six or seven years. Well, I tell you, beautiful Bobby, maybe a contradiction in terms if you look at him, but beauty in the art of wrestling and being a tag team partner certainly was Bobby Eaton's... Uh, criteria i mean he is an excellent partner and not bad one-on-one -on -one. they have a tough time here against the very big man brian adams along with uh horace in his corner horace hogan the nephew of hollywood hogan to be the second for brian adams both men representing the mwo black and white faction the b team if you will Oh, they hate being called that, too. I know. The B team. Wait till their egos start to swell. That'll happen. Look at the shirts they're wearing. That's all you need to see. Hey, Bobby Eaton is very good, but, you know, I mean, if I was him right away, I mean, you got to do something. you got Horace out there. It's just a time bomb. It's ticking sooner or later. You know Horace is going to try something. If I was Bobby Eaton, I'd run back and get somebody, anybody. I agree with you 100%. This is a handicap match, despite what the contract may say. This is not a one-on-one -on -one competition. And Brian Adams, you look at the guy, he's big enough and tough enough to be a force to reckon with by himself, but Horace outside just makes it double top. Look at Brian Adams extending the hand for a handshake with Bobby Eaton. Do you think Eaton will bite on it? I wouldn't. I wouldn't know where his hand's been. That's a good point, too, but I wouldn't trust it. Let's see. Oh, show of respect to Brian Adams. I still don't trust it. He's playing some kind of mind game with Bobby Eaton. Right, he's with the NWO. He's untrustable, but he is very big. Eaton hard into the corner. And Brian Adams and the man at ringside, Horace, fared very well in the WCW World Tag Team Tournament. They are a team to be reckoned with here in WCW. Speaking of tag teams that Bobby Eaton was a member of, these two are also a very good tag team. Side of headlock for Adam. Yeah, that's what Bobby can do. I mean, he's got the experience to deal with it. He knows better than oh. going head to head. You're not going to have power, Brian Adams. He's going to have to use his brains and not the brawn here. That was like running into a brick wall. Eaton just bounced off Brian Adams all the way to the floor. But right now, Bobby's thinking of, you know, different way. If I was Bobby, you want to try to get behind, get him down. You put Brian Adams on the mat, and he's only six inches tall. But getting him down there is a tall order. Adams directly across the forehead of Bobby Eaton. And for all the dissension we saw between members of the NWO black and white it appears Adams and Horace Hogan are getting along famously oh look at his power and that is power that's raw Whoa. power he just picked Eaton up from the canvas into a gorilla press and threw him six feet into the corner hey Brian Adams almost being nonchalant but that's the confidence they instill in each other by having a sidekick outside the ring. That's a race in the hole. Exactly. Bobby can, Bobby can pull up a jump now. There's the choker. We knew it would happen. Horace Hogan tripped up Bobby Eaton. Eaton went down hard, and that's a leg drop across the back of the head from Brian Adams. Now look at this. They're getting real cocky now. These two having some sort of yuck fest. Glad hand party outside while Bobby Eaton suffers. You talk about tradition, Bobby Eaton is tradition. Has been around this great sport for a long time. You can see the difference. Been a tradition, have the guts to walk out 
by themselves. Not so with the members of the NWO. Duck! Eaton did duck. Oh, and he nailed Adams to the right. And another. Brian Adams backs up into the corner. Watch Eaton. No. Adams traverses into the ropes. But Eaton with the swinging neck breaker. Oh. His neck out. Went down too soon. This may do it. Lateral press. Eaton all. Oh. Eaton trying to grab that one leg, but couldn't pull it over. Hit it again. Horace. On the apron, got tagged by Eaton, but Adams cut him off with one of the guts. Oh, no! You need too many eyes here, and Eaton only has two. Now watch Brian Adams all the way up top. Oh, man, he's 300 pounds from the top turnbuckle with a clothesline. That's a big man doing maneuvers like that. Hey, hits you, you're going down. And Eaton, I'm surprised he's back up. No, reverses. Adams into the ropes. Uh-oh, here we go. The pile driver. That may be all she wrote. Lateral press hooks the leg, and it is over. The NWO, black and white, the B team, get another victory, and Brian Adams defeats a game competitor. It's on each. Look at Horace. Look at that idiot Horace. Well, you can see the Hogan blood run through his veins. Gutless wimp. Just so they can stand tall, alone, and proud in the ring. No respect well, for it. tradition, no it. respect for yeah, anything or anyone without the NWO double. Brian Adams wins it here on WCW Worldwide. You know, living legend, as we said earlier, we'll have a complete update of Super Brawl 9 next week on this program. And it seems going into Super Brawl 9, the Wolfpack was red hot because of the taser, because they all really stand behind each other, WCW seems to be in trouble the first part of 1999. I don't know if they're standing behind each other, but they're just all a bunch of lowlifes, no doubt watching each other's back. The, the New World Order isn't going to be going anywhere until WCW unites against it. It's always going to be a thorn in the side. Hopefully we'll have good news next week uh, as to what happened at Super Brawl 9. For the one and only living legend Larry Zabisco. Very good. I'm Tony Schiavone. See you next week on Worldwide Wrestling.